Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is May 25th, 2021, Tuesday. The theme of today's devotional is God's Wings. The scripture is from Psalm 119, verses 103 through 105. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get under understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your work is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. Another scripture is Psalm 91, 4. God will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuse. Amen. Today's story is from Jen, who lives in Maine. In August of 1919, 1990, 1999, while working at my job as a kindergarten teacher, I received a life-changing phone call. The doctor recep doctor's receptionist said, Jen, the doctor needs to talk with you today, and you should bring your husband with you. Later that day, the doctor explained, that I had a walnut-sized tumor growing on the lining of my brain, and it would need to be surgical removal. A surgically removed. I was in shock, disbelief, and I was scared. But we received tremendous support as well as prayers from all around the world. All my adult life, I have read the upper room every morning. One day during the weeks before my surgery, I read a devotion based on Psalm 91.4. The image of God's wings spreading over me like a mother eagle was powerful. I carried this image with me as I prepared for surgery. As we left our home at 4.30 in the morning to head to the hospital, I pictured God's wings over me. My surgery was successful and the tumor was benign. Six weeks later, I great, great, gratefully returned to my kindergarten students. I learned from this experience that the Bible is not just a book filled with stories and sayings. It is God's work of compassion, love, and grace to guide us to abundant life. We face a lot of things in our lives, sometimes good things, sometimes bad things. When people uh, face bad things, we usually or sometimes or often don't know what to do. How can we accept? How we accept bad situations? As Jen said, she had a big moment. And it was shocking, and it was unbelievable. However, in the situation, she could know what she should do and how she get through, how she uh, could get through her situation. It was the upper room. It was the words of God. 
it was God's presence. It was God's spirit. She was guided by the Holy Spirit with the image of God's wings in her critical time. And that image was not just a image or any other things. It was real presence of God. Through that image, she could hold God. Through that image, she could keep his or uh, her weight. And it helps her a lot, I believe. I hope you and I read the Bible and have devotion every day so that let us prepare for everything in our life. We know a lot of things a lot already. We know God loves us. We know God cares for us. God protects us all the time. We know even God, uh, we, even when we have, when we are in trouble, which we cannot handle, we could get through because of God's love and grace, because of God's strength and wisdom. But still, we should be reminded. We should remind ourselves of God's words to have the assurance, to have the confidence through God's words, we can have the direction of our lives. Through the God's through the through God's words, we can have peace, comfort, compassion, love, and grace, which can guide us to abundant life. Abundant life does not mean that we are rich. We have everything. We have everything, such as power authority, or any other things. The abundant life is from God because God is full of mercy and grace and the God is in us. When God is in us, our life can be the abundant life. To hold God, to hold God's words, which is powerful and strength strengthen uh, I mean powerful and which also strengthen us all the time. Let us commit ourselves to God's words and the time of prayer, the time of devotion, the time of fellowship with Jesus Christ. Every day. I hope all Little Force Church families and friends and I have the daily moment, the time for our devotion to God, the fellowship with Jesus every day through the upper room or any other devotional books or essays or the Bible itself or prayer. I hope we feel God's presence and we learn one by one through God, through the Holy Spirit while we are doing meditation on God's words through devotional life or reading the Bible. Or prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word, which speaks to each of us. Help us as we study it to find a message of love from you. Gracious God, we give thanks and praise because you provide all things already to us to live in this world. We face a lot of things. Sometimes we don't know what to do. 
but you already gave us your word through the Bible, through the Holy Spirit, through worship, through devotion, through Bible study, and many other things. We praise you and worship you. We would like to follow you. And we want you be with, to be with us all the time. Lord, let us be in your presence through our devotional and our prayer. Let us be in your spirit by seeking the word of God and direction of God. Thank you for your love again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, you are under God's wings. And through reading the Bible, we can prepare ourselves for everything that we can face in our lives. Have a good day. Bye-bye.